All right. I can't give you a generalized answer. I'll give you a personalized answer. When I was in college, I went through a rebellious phase, about two years of atheism. Two years of atheism. Complete and utter atheism. And I was obsessed with philosophy. And you know why people study, why young people study philosophy? Because they're allergic to religion. Let me tell you, from the, the, that's the inside scoop. Okay? They study philosophy so they have more ammunition to refute people that follow a religion. And all of my philosophical criticisms against religion were crushed by the Quran. All of them. I didn't have any left. None. And I, when somebody says the Quran is pre-modern or it doesn't address intellectual problems of our time, the only response I have is you haven't read the Quran. That's my only response. Yeah. You haven't read it. You don't know what it says. And you, or maybe you think you've read it. Like I met this minister one time who told me I've read the Quran. I was like, you know, you haven't. Well, he told me, nowhere in the Quran does it say God is love. Because for us, God is love. And I said, really? He's forgiving, loving, extremely loving. <laughs> and he just walked away. <laughs> like, what did you read? <laughs> In other words, I, mean, I really don't have another response to that, that you haven't given it a chance. You've assumed, you've bunched it up with other religions that have folklore and you know, fantasy and all this other stuff in them, superstition in them, and you figure all religions are the same. And by the way, this is the disease of post-enlightenment uh, intellectual thought, that all religions are man-made, and we need to look at them with basically the same the same type of scrutiny that they all, they're just a bunch of folklore and cultural practices, they have no intellectual foundation. Islam not just begs to differ, demands to differ. We differ. We stand on evidence. That's what we, we actually challenge people to say, bring evidence forward against us. Please do. Read it and criticize. We're waiting. That's what the Quran demanded them to do, subhanAllah.